I've returned, Shin! I've returned to save your- Ah, Ken! I'm glad you're here. You- You are? Yes, see, I'm currently hiring new henchmen and can't handle the interviews all by myself. Just too many potential hires. What does that have to do with me? Well, you- I'm not becoming your henchman, Shin. That feels perverse. No, 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 not like that. I need someone who is an expert at dealing with my henchmen. I mean, who better to deal with finding the best thugs for the job than the person who kills them all the time? Bingo bango, buddy. You know, I came here to save Yuria. Well, Rao took her anyway, so might as well not waste the trip, right? What? Oh, our first potential hire is here. Can you handle this, Ken? I have to take a call. Thanks, you're a darling. Wait, with what? We don't have phones anymore. Hello? Uh, hi. Here. Me resume! Okay. So, do you have any previous experience? Yes! Me been to prison for ten years before! No, not priors. Me no! Okay. Anyway, what would make you an asset to this company? You consider this a company, sir? Me work well with people! And me majored in criminal psychology! And minored in theater! And you became a hired thug? Job market not so good right now! I hear that, buddy. Alright, next question. Where do you see yourself in five years? Dead? Probably because of you! Well, I'd say that makes you as qualified as anyone could ask. Welcome aboard! Thank you! Make me shake your hand? Sure, why not? Put her there. Thank you. This mean a lot, and... Uh, 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 oh. Right. Okay. A bit more there. There. And... Done. Alright, Guts. The Christmas tree looks perfect. I think you and I did a fantastic job, Judo. This is gonna be the best Christmas ever. Now to just stick the star- Excuse me, Guts. Judo. Uh, Griffith. What's up? Oh, I'm so glad I caught you both. I was afraid I was too late. Too late for what? I wanted to help you two trim the tree. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but we are just about done, Griffith. Oh, that's quite alright. I only had one thing I wanted to add. This little ornament I've been holding on to all season. Oh, sure, that's no problem. Just hand it over and I'll- No. Oh, don't be such a Scrooge, Guts. I will be the f- Krampus, if it means keeping that thing off the tree. I thought I was playing the Krampus this year. But it fits so well. I mean, it's red. That's the color of festivities. He's got a point, Guts. Got a point. Look at that thing. I don't think the theme this year for the tree was supposed to be body mutilation. Please. I promise it's the only thing that I will add. Come on, Guts. What's the worst that could happen? <sighs> All right. Thank you. Well, it looks like I'm on the naughty list. <laughs> Hey, Guts? Yeah? Whose birth are we celebrating? Welcome, Lupin the Third, to my birthplace of the next step of human evolution. Could the next step maybe have a kiosk, Bamo? I got lost at least four times in this MC Escher hellscape you've built. The beautiful Fujiko Mine will be my queen in the new world as it's Adam and Eve. I just came here for a diamond. With this new world, the great minds of all of history will come together and forge a new utopia. <laughs> yeah, see, I wanted to ask you about that, Mamo. I noticed something weird around here. And just what is that, Lupin? Well, your fantasy draft here seems a bit, as the kids say, problematic. How? Oh. How? Oh, gee whiz. Well, let's start with the big guy you plucked from the big old Second Great War. I needed an excellent leader and strategist. Who, Patton? Nope. No. Go on. Don't be shy, Dr. Genius. <laughs> Hitler. What the f***? You need to look at the big picture. This is about building a world with powerful individuals! So your answer to that is to just clone people from history, regardless of the terrifying implications. Yes? Just for the possibility to sleep with Fujiko. Throwing stones a bit there, Lupo. We're not talking about me. I reject your judgment, Lupin the Third. This new world will be perfect with great leaders whose great minds would be in my command. That's the other thing. What? No, come on. You know, society can't survive on leaders alone, right? Especially not the meat you've picked. Of course it will. All these clones will respect me for the leader I am. Your motivational tapes tell you that? 
Yes? Oh, sweetie. What happens when you gotta ask your Julius Caesar clone to pick up trash and he doesn't want to because it's beneath him? How's that one gonna play out, John Galt? Who's John Galt? Oh, you've read the book. I know what I'm doing! Do you? You actually think Hitler and Napoleon are gonna cooperate in this new social system? Well... They're called essential workers for a reason, Mamo. What's with you and the $500 words today? The choices I've made have been calculated perfectly to build a bright future. Oh, really? Yes, really. Because I didn't see Gandhi or Florence Nightingale while I was walking around. Isn't that interesting? Hmm? You're just doing this to try to look good in front of Fujiko, aren't you? No. Yes. Yes. Is it working? Not really. I think I'm just going to book it to Miami until the next nutcase gives me all his money. I didn't give you all my money. That's what you think. <laughs>
for hated blood flows through the eternal march of time. Is, is there like a door or something I could get out of? Disturb not the autumn devils and befriend the midsummer fay. Okay, but are there like instructions on how to play this or? You will stare into the abyss and the abyss will stare back at you. Uh, I'd rather stare at a door, please. Feed the gluttonous beast and you will see the event horizon. Is there like a wind state to any of this or? do. Adieu, pilgrim, for now the mouse must circumvent the maze. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, what was your name? Hello? Hello? Boy, just what is Genshin Impact? And why is your Google history just Mommy Lisa, ex-reader? I am the Demon King. For thousands of generations, I have been reborn to bring darkness and devastation to the people of Hyrule. And a thousand times more, I will do the same. Therefore, I command you, Princess Zelda. Stop calling me Ganondilf! Hoes out here, always talking about losing their virginity. And I'm like, bitch, pay better attention to where you leave it then. Oh my god, that sounds awful, horrible. How would you even sleep at night after experiencing that? I haven't even gone to the Eclipse part yet. What are you talking about? Yeah, but the part where you and Griffith were splashing each other with water while he showered was nightmarish. <sighs> Look, Puck, if you're gonna fly around and bother me, we have to clear a few things up. Okay, I'll go first. Why do you sound like Markiplier? No, I'll go first. And I need to know. What do I refer to you as? I'm a pixie. No, not that. I mean... Where do you land on the gender spectrum? Huh? Boy, girl, both, neither, which? Ah. Because you fly around me naked and you're missing some parts and it's driving me insane. I'm naked? I can't decide if I should file a restraining order or that would be culturally insensitive. You seem really stressed. Look, I have just had my fill of androgyny, all right? I fell in love with a cute tomboy and I was led by a beautiful femboy. Who was also in love with me. Hell of a life you got there, huh? I'm just trying to be cooperative, Puck. Is this really that big of a deal to you? The fact that I have to look at your bare ass so much? Yes. You're scared it turns you on, aren't you? Just tell me where you land on the gender spectrum. All right, all right. <laughs> Silly guts. I don't land on the gender spectrum. I am the gender spectrum! <laughs> just kidding, I'm a boy. Shit! All right, Joe. It's clear after that crap, lousy performance in the ring you just had. I just killed another man, Dompey. We need to start training your ass, Honor. I can't go back to jail again. No excuses. By the time I'm done with you... I need to hide from the cops, man. I'm gonna turn you into the Julia Child of Boxing. I mean, if you think that's best, then... Wait, what? 34 hours a day, 9 days a week. You're gonna eat lightning. Are you gonna have catastrophic diarrhea? I don't think I'm following the metaphors here, coach. You'll float like a butterfly, sting like herpes. What? Like my herpes. The herpes that is my cross to bear every day of my life. I don't need to hear- I haven't felt the touch of a woman in decades, Joe. What the f*** is going on? You'll be dodging blows like I dodge the IRS every year. I, I think I get the picture, Dompe. You'll make them bleed like it's their time of the month. And I lost it. Leaving them bruised like the last banana on the bundle that everyone forgot and got too bad to eat, but it's the only one left, so it wouldn't be worth it to try to use it for banana bread. What am I taking away from this, coach? I'll make you such a lord of the ring, they'll call you Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley? Please hold her for million dollar baby reference. I'll have you throwing punches like a cheerleader on prom night that wants to make it about her. What? I've seen the event horizon, Joe. The f*** does this have to do with boxing? We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. Uh... I taste copper. Wait, what? Joe, call an ambulance. I'm having a stroke. Oh, shit. Oh, God. 
Goku, I've come from the future to warn you. Don't drink the Grimace Shake. Too late. I tried it an hour ago. Why? What's wrong? Ah! Your reign of terror ends here! <laughs> time and time again you will attempt to thwart me, Jonathan, and time and time again you will fail. Not this time, Dio! I have learned ways to end the terror of vampires once and for all! Do your worst. I was trained by a true master, one who knows how to deal with your kind. And what has he taught you, Jonathan? How to manipulate the sun. No, he was an Italian, so he taught me the truth of what ends you vampires. And that is... Garlic. <laughs> Don't make me l What? Yes, garlic. I have learned that it is the true weakness of you vampires. And I will use every bit of garlic that Master Zeppeli has given me. And God, Dio! Now just hold on one second, Jonathan. What are you- Ow! Ha! Ow. Ha! Stop! Here! Stop ha. throwing them, Jonathan! Ha. 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 Stop it! Ha. Ha. Stop it! Ha. This is really annoying! Oh. He! Ha! Knock oh. it off! Take that! Stop and that it! Knave. Stop. You will never escape my bakery of justice, Dio! Oh. This doesn't even really hurt! Know that your evil will no longer plague this land! This is land. so undignified for both parties! Behold! Tell you I feel the garlic! Knock it off! Take it all! Ah. Take it all! Take my unlimited breadsticks! Unlimited bread? Who is giving you unlimited breadsticks? Hello, mongrel. <sighs> Just couldn't bear to share the spotlight, could you, Gilly? Are you defeated, Dio? No, but I smell like a cheap pizza joint, if that's what you were hoping for. Well, all right. I have a contingency. Holy water! No, Jonathan, that's we not going to work. <laughs> well, I'm not melting, I'm afraid. What, what, what happened? I... Oh wait, this isn't holy water, this is vitamin water. You see, Jojo, it's goofy sh** that you do like this, that's the reason I killed your dog. Smallville, I need your help! Sure thing, Lois. What's happened? I was investigating a secret bunker and came across an organization called Cadmus. How did you get into a secret bunker? You'd be surprised at how lax a secret bunker's security is when they think they can't be found. Anyway, they caught me and subjected me to testing! Oh no! Oh no! I'm so sorry, Lois. The place was a genetics lab, funded by some guy named Gex Lutheran or something. When will those Protestant geckos stop? I managed to escape from the island of Dr. Moron, but I found out what they did. They cloned me! Disgusting! Yeah, there's like a dozen clones of me down there that just need to be rescued. That's awful! We can't let them get away- Go back, what was that? They have a whole bunch of perfect copies of me down there, right down to every intimate detail. Oh, that's... terrible. Every one, huh? Probably incredibly desperate to get out. Imagine all the sick, perverted things they do to them. I probably shouldn't be. They didn't even bother putting clothes on them! Oh boy. They had just come out of the chambers covered in slick, goopy chemicals from the pods. Oh, great Krypton. Probably tying them up and subjecting them to all kinds of sick experiments. Uh-huh. Mother. Mon Pa. Marlon Brando, Dad. Please forgive my impure thoughts. My son. Go and get some little kal -El. Become Big kal -El. Here's the coordinates to give to Superman. They have it disguised as like a Motel 6 for some reason. Room 9, here's the key for him. Thank you. Uh, I mean, right away, Miss Lane. I'll get it to him right now. He might only find one of me, so just make sure she's safe first. Remember to bring dark chocolate and strawberries. Oh. What for? For the health benefits, duh. They just got out of the chamber and need proper nutrients. Get it together, Clark. Come on. Right. You okay, Clark? You seem stressed. Oh, I'm just so... worried about the... multiple... perfect... clones of you. No time to lose then, Smallville. Go get Superman. Right away. <laughs> I could just tell him, but this is more fun. Now... Time to give a job to Superman. Dear God! Brainiac is destroying Metropolis! And then she football taps him on the ass. You really want ASMR for me? Fine. Then let me kick your ass more.
Well, well. It appears you've found me again, Black Swordsman. Kind of hard not to notice you when you're like 900 feet tall most of the time. I missed the- And naked, mostly. I missed- What's the point of the corset? Is it for, like, back issues, or...? I miss that look up. Seriously, it's hot as balls here. How are your nipples that pointy? Can I finish, please? Right. Sorry. I miss that look of rage and sorrow on your face. One that reminds me of our first encounter. Slan, you are like a walking trigger warning. I can use my extremely demonetizable body to offer you all the pains and pleasures you could imagine. Little f up to say that to someone who experienced Donovan as a kid, but... I gift you the most carnal rapture you will have ever experienced in your life. <laughs> so tell me then, what do you wish, boy? Oh, you really want to know? Yes. You're not going to like it. What? Am I your fairy godmother? Just spit it out. I just want a hug. You want a hug? Did I stutter? That can't possibly be your greatest desire. Read my mind. What? Do it. I don't really... I dare you, sugar tits. Read it. I know you can. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. Save some of that trauma for the rest of us, boy. Here's the kicker. You helped contribute to some of that. If you think I feel guilty about that, you clearly don't understand me. Of course I know you don't feel guilty! Everyone in f***ing Midland is proud of the horrible shit they've done! The only one who isn't proud of what they've done is me, I guess! Like killing that kid, right? F*** you. <laughs> Mixed signals much? You really want this? Maybe develop a personality instead of a teacup, then! Hugs aren't really in my skill set. I'm not qualified to handle real emotion. Well, I'm not qualified to handle the cavalcade of horrors you and your little club come up with, but here I am! I just... <clears throat> I wasn't ready for this, okay? I was expecting... What? A night with Marilyn Manson? No, lady, I'm fucked up in here! I get two hours of sleep a week, and those two are usually spent fighting whatever nightmarish horror you all pulled out of the mountains of H.P. Lovecraft's mad asshole! Oh, fun fact. Cthulhu is a very tender lover. You're that- Nope, that's too much to unpack. I'm moving on. You're that desperate? Might I suggest a new approach? I mean, I wouldn't say I'm desperate. I would. Bake some cookies. Buy me a stuffed bear. Hell, how about just giving me a balloon? Have a f***ing game plan, sweetheart! Come on, Gutsy. Where's your sense of adventure? It went missing the day of the eclipse. Or don't you remember? Uh, was I there for that? Yes. Hmm. Must have been thinking of other stuff. This is pointless. Vampires? You mean thirsty goths? Oh yeah, I'm DTF, baby. Definitely tasting fluoride, cause I brush my teeth every day. Sorry, Ada. Sorry, Ashley. No time for a threesome right now. I've got to get home and binge watch the new season of Bluey. Anesthesia? You want me to find you the lost Russian princess? I came back in time to warn you. You don't want to post that. Come sit in Daddy's lap, kitten. And he's gonna tell you all about the history of Bionicle lore. Hey there, baby! You look like a million bucks. 
Can I use you to pay the rent? Cause holy shit, the landlord is about to kick my ass out. They lied! There are no hot singles in my area! Only killer robots! We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. No! Yes. I lift. I lift humanity from the shackles of absolute despair and onward towards a greater tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Adrian Alucard de Pesh here. Wishing you all a safe and happy Halloween. And reminding you, on October 31st, to put out cookies and blood for my father, Dracula. Or else you'll be on his naughty list. Which for him, is the execution list. Hey! Hey, D! D? D? D-Meister, D-Man, Big D, Diesel Train, Monkey D. Luffy, King D. 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 <sighs> what is it, Lefty? I just, uh, I'm just getting a little bored. We've been out here in the desert for quite a few days, and I thought I'd lighten the mood. I want the mood to stay how it is. I didn't think you were capable of wanting anything. Well, I don't want this. Well, I was just thinking about being out here in the desert. You feel a little dry, a little barren, a little empty, like my ex-wife. What did I do to deserve this torture? Well, I thought with it being that spoopy season... Stop trying to relate to Zoomers. You're a literal thousand-year-old parasite. Hey, how about a little Halloween-themed comedy? Will it get you to shut up? Very likely not. Are you going to do it anyway? Of course I will. Alright, fine. Just do it. Okay, okay. Follow me on this one. What do you call origami done by a zombie? I don't know. Ghouls fold. <laughs> Come on. Give a hand a hand. Hey. Hey, what are you doing with that chainsaw? Wait, no, D, stop! Ah! Guts, could you come in here for a minute? You're wearing clothes this time, right? Unfortunately, yes. Pinky swear? Yes. Okay, Griffith, what is it? I wanted to remind you Halloween is coming up. Thanks, my calendar was broken. And I have a mission for you. That's never a great start. I'm expecting that night to run into plenty of night creatures and monsters, and I will need a bodyguard. Oh, well, as long as you're safe. I have certain items to collect that night, and don't want to have them stopping me. Griffith, I'm not being your mule again. Not that kind of stuff. Then what? Mostly sweets, but I am worried those monsters will get in our way. So I thought it would be best if we dressed up to scare them back. Is something wrong? Griffith, are you asking me to take you trick-or-treating? What? No, this is serious business, Guts. What candy are you looking forward to the most? Oh, Reese's Pieces. Oh, damn it. You're a grown man. Just go yourself. But it's scary at night, and I'm too pretty, and the monsters will want to eat me. What about me? What about you? Oh, screw this. You know I pay your bills, right? No. In fact, you once said, and I quote... Looking at your perfect face is better than any money. Well, it's true. And then Costco agreed. Well, she has good taste. And now I'm broke. Then you won't want to pass up free candy. Those wolves should have fought harder. What's that? Nothing. Fine. I'll go. Fantastic. I'm going as a sexy nurse. Oh, my God. Wait. For tricks or treats? Yes. And? Well, I'm definitely not dressing up. Aw, but I already got you a costume. Uh, of course you did. It's a kitty mask. Just... Just the mask? Nothing was your size besides that. You understand how ridiculous I'll look as some bulky muscle guy with a big sword and just a cat mask on, right? Hmm. <clears throat> What's wrong, Queen? Oh, it's nothing, Remus. I just suddenly got very angry, and I don't know why. That feeling, when pink, royal blue, and purple are a really good color combo. 
but you're not bisexual. Thanksgiving? Yeah. Thanks giving me your mom's maiden name so I know what your Roblox password is now, stupid! Oh no! A rival Yakuza family is planning to bomb a Kamarocho orphanage and sell the survivors into slavery. I have to get there as soon as possible. But first... I have to drive the Pikachu train. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. Oh yeah, baby. I'm an alpha. Cause I'm a work in progress and have a lot of bugs that need fixing after some trial and error, and probably won't be ready for several years. Oh, so you're based, are you? Well, based on this employee report, I should have fired you months ago! You can't just tell them things like that. I really don't see what was so bad. Anytime you question Griffith, do you know what happens? Usually he just ignores me. He'll do anything to prove you wrong. So you think I'm in the wrong for calling out a man who said to me, We're invading the North Pole. Why are we invading the North Pole? To kill Santa. Uh-huh. And take all his military resources. Uh-huh. Need I go on? You crushed his dreams. Oh, I'm sorry. How insensitive of me. You never crush his dreams. He will do anything to accomplish his goals. All right. Anything. Koska! I will talk to him tomorrow. We'll get this all settled. And all have a Merry Christ- Oh yeah, this is much better. I have terrible social skills, Koska. I don't know what you want from me. This is your last insubordination, Guts. I will not tolerate traitorism in the band. You know I'm missing breakfast for this. Oh good, we didn't miss it. Why are you all here? When two men are fighting over whether or not to kill Santa Claus, you don't want to miss it. Right, Pippin? <clears throat> exactly. This job is ass. Hey, Casca. Look at that. I, I found mistletoe. Isn't that weird? <laughs> well, just don't eat it, Judo. It's poisonous. Thanks. Glad it... you care. Griffith, can't we discuss this like adults? Shut up, doo-doo head! Okay. All right, who have you got money on? Griff seems the more motivated one here. But Guts has the power of the Holy Spirit. You mean Jesus? No. I saw him fight a ghost and stab him a bunch. Griffith, even if Santa was actually at the North Pole... He is, isn't he? You don't see it as wrong to invade a place that makes toys for good little girls and boys? That could become weapons if not in the right hands. For crying out loud. Your lack of vision has always been your downfall, Guts. I can see you acting a fool, so I think my vision is fine. Only those willing to stand beside my dream can join me on my war on Christmas. There it is. So if you will not stand by my side... Then you will die by my hand. Just one normal Christmas, that's all I wanted. On guard, turncoat! Okay. Are we done? Can I, like, go get some waffles and eggs now? We're still doing the Secret Santa thing this year, right?